Hi friends, in this video we, we will discuss how to install Sonotype Nexus repository in Windows system. So before going to install, first of all we need to download the required softwares. So here there is a website help.sonotype.com repo manager uh, slash download. Here we have a uh, Windows archive. So we are going to doing the installation in Windows system. So we have to download the respective Windows zip file. Okay. So click on this one, you can download the, the required the zip file. Okay. Now I have already downloaded the software. Okay. The Nexus 3.32.0-03 Windows 64. Okay. So after downloading, okay, uh, unzip this one. This is a zip file, okay. You have to unzip. So this is not the any exe file like a, to to install like a next next like that. Okay, it is like a, a, a through user interface we need to install this software. Okay, so better we have to co cut this one, put it into the C drive. Okay, cut and put it into the C drive. Paste it here. Or you can install in the same drive also not an issue but we have to try to minimize the uh, length of the uh, location okay yeah the copying taking some time Yes, uh, copied, uh, completed, copy completed. So now go to the Nexus folder. So here we have two folders, okay? So there is a Nexus and Sonar type, okay? So in this we have a .exe file. So if you go to the bin folder, there is a Nexus. So we need to execute this file from the command prompt, okay? Not like a double clicking on that, okay? Uh, and also there is a Sonar type work. So here there is a Nexus 3 folder. So here there is only three folders, okay? Now, while installing, the folders will be created here, okay? There is one uh, admin password file also generated, okay? Now, start the uh, Nexus repository, okay? Now, go to here, go to bin folder. So type here CMD, okay? So we, are, we opened the command prompt with this path, okay? Now, type like a Nexus slash run. So keep in mind this command. Nexus.dx slash run. Okay. So it will take maybe a few seconds because it depends on the system performance. Okay. So now, so it's showing like a Nexus, so it's, it's showing like an installation. Okay. Okay, installing Nexus features, okay. So what is the default uh, port of the Nexus repository? The default port is 8081, okay. Now we'll try to access from the browser, okay. Like okay, HTTP, host 8081. Okay. Let's see if started or not. Still installation is going on. Like enter this one. So still installation is going on. So we are nothing to doing. So everything is taken care by the software, like installing the internal database and all. Okay, so just we need to execute the command, that's all. <laughs> now initializing the default role and the role mapping. Just try here.
still installation is going on okay Yeah, now here you can see started uh, sonar type nexus device is 3.32 okay so now you can try to access from the browser oh, replace this one yes it's coming so the default port is 8081 so now welcome to about sonar nexus repository manager okay so now here we can create the repository center now you have to click on the login sign in so click on sign in so it is asked see your admin user password is located in this also location okay the location is we have here uh, go to your in uh, folder nexus folder here sonar type work nexus 3 see here the number of folders are created like a oriented database we have created okay, db created so here we have a uh, Here we have a, they are saying the password is like a Nexus work, Nexus 3 and admin 3. Admin password. See here, this is the admin password. Okay, open this one, copy this one. Come to here. So enter the default username is the admin. Okay, and password you have to paste it. Click on sign in. So the setup, this setup will help you to complete the required setup. Just click on next. Uh, new password you can put the new password of the uh, admin user i'm giving the new password here click on next uh disable anonymous user that is for the security perspective so you have to disable the anonymous access and here um, uh, help us improve nexus repository if you are okay you can click yes or i'm not interested to give the uh, improve nexus repository so click on next uh, it's complete okay click on the finish so now the nexus repository is ready okay if you so here you can see uh my one central my one public these are all repositories we have so we can upload the repo our uh, we can upload the our artifact is into the this repository okay so in the next video we will discuss more details how to upload the artifact is uh, by through jenkins and by manually out and so we will discuss in the next video thank you for watching this video